it's an interesting question, right? What, what direction do you, do you take a company? Um, we feel uh, that the network is becoming increasingly important across um, all aspects of, of communication. So you mentioned a couple of, of examples there, software um, and video. Uh, the, you know, if you look at the software marketplace shifting from a traditional enterprise software market opportunity to a hosted software opportunity, um, the network, uh, the, by virtue of, of supporting the hosted environment, becomes more important than the delivery of that application. <clears throat> For video, on a global basis, we see video distribution moving from, from satellite and cable architectures to, uh, uh, to IPTV architectures, um, where we need significant innovation in the network and how the network enables the delivery of the application. So the reality is, you know, we're investing in all sorts of technologies, whether they're application-based, software-based, hardware-based, to deliver applications, but we're staying focused around the network and, and we believe and continue to believe that uh, the network is vital and the, and the ability to add value and enhance the value um, of, of application delivery through the network is, is um, significant. Uh, so probably not food services, right? probably not uh, locomotives, um, but we're going to continue to expand the technologies that enable the, uh, uh, the network to uh, improve uh, how we communicate, how we entertain, how we educate, how we, how we work. Uh, what about media? The quite the question is uh, about also media expanding into uh, delivering media. Well, I think I think the internet delivers media today, right? I mean, what what we see if we look at the, the music industry uh, and the disruption in the delivery of, of music, fundamentally, what what has happened is the enable the network has enabled the the, the uh, compression of a part of the delivery chain or the supply chain for music, right? You can now go directly to the artist and get access to music where in the old, previously you had to, the artist had to have a, a label, the label had to print a record, you had to go to the store to buy the record, et cetera, and bring it home. So the network is vital to the delivery of media, and, and frankly the network is completely disrupting how people get access to and, and consume media. Shell was talking about the tools that are now available for social networking that enable you to extend that cross the fence conversation with your neighbor to cross the globe in, in a real-time environment, right? I, I travel today with a, a small camera that I put on my laptop so that I can do a video conference from wherever I am in the world with my four-year-old daughter. And uh, you know, that's, that's a kind of communication set is, is quite phenomenal when you think you can sit in a hotel room in Beijing and do peer-to-peer uh, -peer video with, uh, with your home in the U.S., but that's what the, the network's enabling. It's a change in how we entertain. It's a change in how we communicate. Uh, so I wanted to also remind the, uh, the audience in Italy that if you want to ask a question in Italian, it's not going to be a problem. I know both languages. So, uh, <laughs> and we can say that. so are there any other questions from there? There's a question from here. Just, just one second. Somebody comment how much network building is required and the video equipment is required to make this event possible. I don't know. <laughs> so, so I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I, I don't know how much bandwidth we're, we're using up at the moment, but, but I will comment for investors out there that uh, video uh, does put significant loads on the network. It requires a lot of network upgrades, which is, which is good for the company. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, you know, the, 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 the thing that's quite phenomenal, right, is the amount of bandwidth we've seen and the expansion of bandwidth we've, we've seen that enables these kinds of sessions. It enables, you know, Cisco has developed um, uh, what we call a telepresence technology, which is a high definition uh, collaboration uh, environment. And we're moving full 1080p high definition video streams globally into Bangalore, into Beijing. Um, and we can connect multiple of those streams together with no delay whatsoever. So getting rid of even the, the small delay that we see in this experience so that you have real-time, full-size conversations with people. Um, it, the, the network bandwidth is, is substantial and, and growing. And then as far as uh, this, this specific uh, uh, connection is concerned, this specific conference is concerned, and I know it's involved Bob, uh, who's a startup, who's actually providing the underlying uh, service. Uh, so. Uh, that's so far, so good. good, good very good uh, quality of this uh, year conference. Uh, any other questions uh, for the audience? Hi, Jeff Capacci.
Camacho from the National Italian American Foundation and also chair of the Silicon Valley Italian Executive Council. And thank you, Ambassador Spaldi, for uh, your leadership on uh, these kinds of initiatives. I look forward to seeing you in January. Um, I had a question for Catherine McCall. Now, you talked about cash. Now, how do you help me get cash? <laughs> we can help. You personally. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm from the prototypical um, startup company that, that comes to you. You've done a great job on my incorporation. Uh, your patent people have uh, got, got a nice, squeaky clean patent portfolio. Uh, you know, we look really, really good. We've been properly scrubbed. We've now made an appointment to, uh, uh, or, you know, can you get me to a venture capitalist? Can you get me to an angel investor? Uh, we can try. Our firm and a lot of other firms here in Silicon Valley have relationships with venture capital firms. We work with them every day. Um, they may be clients of ours. We may have worked with them on another deal for a client of ours. Um, but, you know, in general, we know a lot about what those venture capitalists are looking for. So if you come to, you know, a, a great attorney, and our firm in particular, of course, um, you know, we can help you sort of define your strategy and then take it that next step and introduce you. Or we can talk, you know, to our venture capitalists that we know and say, hey, we've got a great company, great management team, great IP. You know, here's their space, are you interested? Venture capitalists might say, hey, yeah, I'm very interested. So you can help bridge that gap to sort of, instead of your business plan landing in an envelope on a guy's desk, to being instead a phone call and a recommendation from, hey, so-and-so at Card Farrell recommended that, you know, I might want to talk to you. Or you can use the name, you know, hey, Captain McCall at Card Farrell said, I should give you a call. So instead of just being, you know, the, the blanket envelope landing, you know, through the mail, now you've got a personal contact. And a good attorney and a good firm can help you bridge that gap. And really become truly your almost your partner and help you along. We can also sort of uh, hold you by the hand, help you with the process of what's it going to be like when you talk to a VC? What are they going to want to see? Uh, when the VC then looks at you and says, well, I want to see more. I want to see your corporate records. I want to see you know this IP. I want to see these things. Um, one phone call to your attorney, and boom, all of those products are delivered. Hey, maybe if I can follow it up with uh, Giacomo Marino from a venture capital perspective. So Giacomo, you've now been introduced to my company via Catherine McCall. Uh, are you going to treat that a little differently than, than just anybody walking off the street? Yeah, re referrals uh, are, are an important element of, uh, of the, the team flow that, that emerges to the next level. So, I mean, we, we get quite a bit of uh, um, unsolicited team flow. Uh, the ones that come with the referral normally uh, move one step ahead and one step uh, faster in the process. There is no guarantee that Right. Of course. Get to the end of it, okay, but but it certainly shortens that that process and also brings it to a, a different level of attention. So definitely uh, get a referral through your attorneys or through other people that know us, and that, that that's that's a very good way to get into it. So to improve my company's chances of getting your attention. That day is correct. Yeah. Thank you. There are two questions here yes. for Matteo. Yeah. There are two questions. Uh, if you can come okay. right here, so if you can go in the camera, introduce yourself and then we put the question. Thank you. Hi. Um, my name is Vito Lumene. I am the founder of uh, European Search Engine, which is focused on the recruiting market. So it's job search engine. And so my question is very practical. Actually, it's probably also for the Italian panel. And before uh, Arturo mentioned uh